Hello, everybody. Welcome to Shauna Spillin, the Presley D. And we are live tonight to talk about Elvis Week prices, the guests that are going. I know you guys have been holding it in. A lot of you haven't. I've been reading a lot of y'all's comments. So I'm here for you. We're going to talk about this as an Elvis family. We're going to get it to the bottom of this, guys. This is episode seven. So I hope you enjoy. Plus, we've got some prissy pant drama. So stick around to the end and we'll talk about that too, guys. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Pamela. Hey, C. Pam. Hi. How are you? Hi, 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 Wanda. Hey, guys. It's a good Friday. Happy Good Friday to each and every one of you guys. I don't know how you uh, spend your Easter weekend, however you do, but I hope you all a wonderful, wonderful Easter, okay, because we all know the reason for Easter. So I hope you all have a great and safe one with your family, your friends, or however you guys um, enjoy your Easter. We're going to spend Easter um, celebrating with Bible study. Easter egg hunt, and of course, my son Wade can't wait to get his Easter basket, so I thought I'd throw it out how I enjoy my Easter, plus we're going to go and have a real nice lunch with family, so I hope y'all stay safe this Easter weekend and have a good time and remember why we celebrate Easter. Hello, William, Jennifer, Ophelia, Patricia, Mary, Ginger. Lady Lucilla, Jennifer, again, hi, Nancy, Patricia, Mary, woo, Susie Q, hello, everybody, oh, and thank you for, thank you, Patricia, for saying hello to Tanya, and you love her graphics, we do love her graphics, so thanks, Tanya, for the graphics tonight, I hope you all enjoy them, she hasn't finished them yet, but when she does, I put it up, you'll see. Hi, Maria. Hey, Susie, AJ, Patty, Teresa, Sally. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hey, Mary. I got a surprise for you guys at the end, so I hope you stick around for it. It's not just the pr prissy pants stuff. There's, mm, I've got, I've got, you know, a little surprise for you guys. Happy Friday, and it is Good Friday. So, happy Good Friday to you. Thank you, Kathy. Hi. Hi, Ginger. Hey, Sue. Tanya, beautiful graphics as always, hun. Thank you, Tanya. Hello. Happy Friday, everyone. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Thank you for the Friday. You guys, I see some of y'all who participated in the uh, trivia contest on Wednesday night. You guys, we had five winners of Elvis movies. I just wanted to throw it out there. Five. So, thank you guys for participating. I'm sending your movies out this next coming week. Susie Q, sounds like a beautiful Easter for you and your family. Well, we try, Susie. And I hope y'all have a safe weekend as well. Mary, love your channel. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. AJ, Easter blessings, everyone. You too, AJ. You too. So, anyways. Buenas noches, Gina. Anyways, guys. You guys been reading the headlines and whatnot in the news and watching the other channels talking about the Graceland prices? Pretty uh steep, right? Hey, Rhonda. Hey, y'all. So, okay, I, I want to start because we've got a lot to cover, and then I'm going to try to get back with you guys. So, thank you all for the pleasantries. I love each and every one of you guys. I really do. So let's get to the nitty gritty. What Elvis would say. Let's get to the nitty gritty. So, okay. I found something interesting, guys. A friend of mine, Will, sent this to me, and it was very intriguing. The prices of the guest house. The prices at the guest house. Let's just start with that. Hold on. The prices with the guest house if you go to Elvis Week. Look at this. 
you can't look, you'll have to listen. So August 2024, I have the whole calendar in front of me of the Graceland price, well, the um, guest house hotel prices. They're all between the first of the month to the 12th, no, 13th of the month. They're pretty reasonable. They're anywhere between $160 a night to $360 a night. But on August 14th, it shoots up to $518 to stay the night. Then 15th, it's $599 to spend the night. The 16th is for 70. The 17th is 400. And then on that Sunday, the 18th, which Elvis week is over by then, it's back to like $180. So the prices for the guest house have shot up like this during Elvis week, just to stay at the guest house. Okay. The rest of the month, guys, you can stay at the guest house for like $160 a month. I mean, a night. Okay? $160 a night, you can stay at the guest house regular time. But Elvis week, it's up there from five to $600. Uh-huh. So that's just to spend the night there. All right? And it is outrageous. That's crazy. And it shows they're shooting up the price for Elvis week. What's different during Elvis week? Are they putting 14 karat gold sheets on the bed? What, what, what's so different about, about Elvis week uh, for the guest house? Huh? Is it 14 karat gold toilet paper? What, what, what's different in these rooms that isn't already, I mean, just the prices to spend the night for that week is unbelievable. So that's just for the guest house. I call it price gouging, Sue. I really do because they're regular price the rest of the month. But why just Elvis week is the price gouged all the way up to almost, you know, $680 a night. Who can afford that? That's for one night. Elvis week is seven days. You know, that's a long time. That's going to be. Almost $4,000 to spend the week at the guest house? Wow. You know? Oof. Oof. Too rich for me. I know it's rich for others, but you know what's crazy? People, people who love Elvis, who have the money, will pay that price. So that's what's crazy about it. People who have money and love Elvis will pay that price. It is true. Hey, Elvis chick. So here's something else. Okay. This is, this is just ballpark figure here before I read what graceland.com put on their website. Elvis week for 2024 platinum package, $2,070. Uh-huh. August 9th through 17th, Guest House Graceland, $4,000. A total of eight grand, not including tax. Come on. I mean, that's like buying a car for me. I mean, granted, I never buy a new car. I buy my cars used. I, I actually look into my car. I do the research on the car. My husband is a mechanic on the side. He checks out cars for me. So I don't buy new cars. I don't believe in car payments. I just don't. Plus, I'm raising a kid, you know, save money where you can. But I buy used cars, but they're nice used cars, okay? That's about the price range of what I would buy for my used car, about eight grand-ish, eight to ten grand. You're spending that for five days at Graceland. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Lily, for those prices, you'd be able to take a home jumpsuit, <laughs> take a jumpsuit home. Oh, wow. Oh, well, I think his jumpsuits are worth a little bit more than that, but I get your point. It's like, that's expensive. Ginger, you're right, Patricia, he'd be very upset about Elvis if he were alive. Well, if he were alive, we wouldn't be talking about this. There wouldn't be an Elvis week, right? So, you know, but. 
feel. I mean, um, but the one thing that I have gotten from this so far is people will pay that. It, it, they will pay it. And you know what? It will sell out, all of them, very fast. People will pay that amount. So it's not going to deter some others, you know, about um, not going. They're going to go. And they're going to spend that money. So it's, you know, it's beside the point. It's just people like us think about the greed. And is it ever going to end? Does that mean next year Elvis Week's going to be 16 grand? I mean, when is these prices going to stop it seems like it gets higher and higher and higher every year to the point where you can't go and a lot of people won't go to any of these uh pricey events because they can't afford it but i will say one thing people will go to elvis week and not even do this expensive stuff they'll go and take in some of the the free things that are available during Elvis week and we'll get to that soon but there is there is some free stuff going on during Elvis week and people like to enjoy that uh, especially it's a time where Elvis fans go to get back together they probably come once every year and they meet every year and they do the same thing every year so it's also a place for Elvis fans to have friendships and it's not always for this money to be spent. So we're going to have fans that are going to spend the money. Okay. And then we're going to have fans um, that don't and just go to the free stuff just to enjoy it and to be with their Elvis friends who are enjoying it, the free stuff with them. So I'm just letting you know, there are going to be some that will pay and some that won't. So we're going to have to just talk about it. But in reality, there's nothing really we can do about it. I've talked to a few people on the side. What are we going to do? What can we do? I mean, do you see us going with picket signs going, <laughs> no, no, we won't go. Give me a break. And if you did, how long would it take for the Memphis Police Department in Shelby County, Tennessee, to come and get us in the paddy wagon? You know what you guys can do? Um, two of the speakers that are going are very controversial. Just as controversial as what we went over last week with the Stanleys. Two of the speakers are Shirley Do and Larry Geller. And it depends on where you're at in the Elvis world if you like any of those two. But Shirley Do has says has said some things in the past um that has been very controversial. So it's like, what are we gonna do about it? I know what you guys can do. Write Joel at Graceland.com. That's Joel at Graceland.com. And tell him how you feel. Tell him how you feel. If you feel like Shirley Dew shouldn't be there talking about Elvis after the backlash of what she did, of what she said behind the scenes about Elvis fans, and she's there this year, and you don't think it's fair, then write Joel at graceland.com and uh, give him y'all's grievances. Maybe he'll get so many emails that he'll just be like, mm, you know what? No, let's not do these people. Well, you know, that's a very good thing we could do. And if you have any other uh, grievances, I'll tell you what, write Joel at graceland.com and let them know what all your grievances are because i'm telling you straight up elvis fans are a lot stronger and bigger than people think okay Susie q you missed the shirley do story oh well i have a 
screenshot from a friend of mine who posted it. Her name is Darby. That's all I'll say. There you go, girl. I said your name. And she posted a screenshot of Shirley Dew talking about Elvis fans. She was just disrespecting us. We're all just, you know, we're all just, you know, trash, crazy, whatever you say. But I can probably find it if you give me a minute. There's too many people writing me right now, but give me a second. Uh, she had it posted on her personal Facebook page. Let me see here. I'm trying to engage with you guys, but I'm also looking for this post. So, um, hold on. And of course, it was days ago. So, give me a second. There's a lot she posts. Um, still looking. Let me see here. Goodness sakes. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Almost there. Let's see, let's see. No. Goodness sakes. Darby, how much do you post? I love you, girl, but woof. Hold on. This ain't it. Come on. Because I want to read it to you exactly. I don't want to say anything that wasn't really said, you know. Uh, wait, is that it? No. Talk amongst yourselves, guys. There's a lot of posts to go through. Hold on, hold on. I must have missed it. No. Uh, no. Mm. No, that's not it. No. You guys, I am so sorry. I'm still looking. Wait. I think I'm close. Hold on. Uh no. No. Not yet. Not yet. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Hold on. <laughs> no, really, once I find it, you guys will be very surprised. I'm being serious because I was surprised when I read it. It's the first time I ever read something like like that that, that I saw that she wrote. It really was an eye opener. <sighs> Is this it? Oh. Oh my goodness. No, that isn't either. She's talking about Photoshop. <sighs> goodness. I know she's the one that posted it. I know that was from this is another one. Um no. Okay. All right, here we go. And I'm going to read it exactly like this. I got it, guys. Hold on. Thank you for being patient. Okay, this is exactly what Darby wrote. And Darby, forgive me, or I'm going to read it word for word. I am extremely curious. And when I am curious, I have to ask questions and research to try to make sense out of the myths and rumors. So my question today is, What's the story about Shirley Dew and her relationship with Elvis fans? So the long-awaited lineup for Elvis Week has been released, and just like everything else, there's a spectrum of feelings and opinions about the lineup, the prices, yada, yada, yada. I am right there with you. But I have a question that maybe some of you may have a lot more knowledge of. I noticed that Shirley Dew is in the lineup for interacting with Elvis fans. I am in several groups where she has been a topic of discussion over the years, and all I have ever heard is how she does not like Elvis fans, and that she tends to present herself in a way that demonstrates a view of intellectual superiority over Elvis fans, 
and possibly Southerners in general. I know she did a few interviews when she was promoting her book, but other than that, it appears that she doesn't engage with fans a whole lot. It also appears that she defends Priscilla and promotes David Stanley, two people I don't even have a lot of confidence in their integrity. I could be wrong. Please let me know what you guys think about this. And this is a post. This is a, a thing that Shirley Dew wrote as an instant message to a friend. And it was dated uh, February 5th, 2015 at 3.48 p.m. Shirley Dew wrote, I hate all Elvis fans, this, and I am sick of it. Even selling my books. Have you looked at the bullshit on Amazon lately? I'm writing to Amazon when I have time, and I'm going to pinpoint everything in their rules that say is not allowed. I hate. Elvis fans. Yes, she wrote that. And if you guys want to know who Shirley Do is, she is Joe Esposito's ex-girlfriend. If you didn't know. But she's invited uh, to Elvis Week. And I just read you a post, well, uh, an instant message she wrote to a friend um, saying she hates Elvis fans. So what do you guys think about that? I mean, personally, if she hates Elvis fans, I don't think she deserves to be at Elvis Week because that's all that's at Elvis Week is Elvis fans because we love him. We want to honor him during the week that he, you know, adios. You know what I'm saying? So that bothers me. Excuse me, guys. If I'm sniffling tonight, there's about a half an inch of pollen all over the outside, all over everything. And boy, I'm telling you, it's really been a bother. <laughs> I've been sniffling all day. Ugh. Gina, I think since Memphis gave P. Oh, I'm not going to read that yet, Gina, because we haven't got to Prissy yet. New York Sioux. A lot of your page, too, especially about. Oh, you guys are talking about that already? I'm going to get to that at the end, guys. Patricia, if she hates Elvis fans so much, why go? Because she's getting paid to go. You know? She's getting paid to go. Elvis chick. She also kin to the trashy Kardashians. Is Shirley do kin to the Kardashians? I had no idea. Thanks for telling us, Elvis Chick. I didn't know that. Jennifer, she has to be old as heck. I'm one. What? She has to be old as hell. No one buys tickets. <laughs> Teresa, yes, she did. Maria, I read Shirley Dew's book, Memphis Mafia Princess. She was Joe Esposito. Well, she was Joe Esposito's girlfriend. Ginger, I agree with you, Shauna. I'm sorry, my nose is running. I better go catch it. I'm trying to catch it. I should have brought some tissues in here. Oh, goodness. New York Sioux, there has to be a reason why she's going. What is her motive? She hates Elvis fans and feeling is mutual as far as I'm concerned. I love Southerners. Well, thank you as a Southerner. I thank you so very much. And also, it is true. If she hates Elvis fans so much, why is she going? Well, she's obviously getting paid. That's why she's going. She's getting paid. You know, money talks. You know, so she's getting paid. Sally, exactly. Why would she even be invited? Well, either they didn't do their research, or they don't care who they invite to Elvis Week nowadays. Cat Girl Blue, hey girl, Chili Do will be at Elvis Week. You mean at an EPE event? That's what the rumor. Cat Girl Blue and Shirley Do will be there. Mhm. Mm Kathleen, who is she expecting to buy her book? But Elvis fans, they would be her target audience. Nobody else cares about what she has to say. 
I don't know, Kathleen, but I know that that's the screenshot I have. And if you guys don't believe me, go find Darby on Facebook and scroll down as far as you saw me scroll down and you're going to see it. It is crazy reading it, too. Susie Q. She is going. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I read you already. Cat girl. No, Susie Q. I haven't read this one. She is going to be surrounded by Elvis fans. I hope for her sake she isn't claustrophobic. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Cat Girl Blue. Didn't Shirley write a bunch of lies? Well, I heard her book was um, a, a kind of against Prissy Pants until Prissy Pants Camp got to her. And then it changed its tune. But that's all I know. That's all I know. But this was years ago. And the way that she tramped, the way that she dragged her old, almost dementia, Joe Esposito to Graceland that year that she wrote the book to promote her book and she dragged him was so sad. Very sad. From what I've heard from people who told me, it was just ridiculous. It was just to promote her book. But she brought him and he was so old by that time. And he shouldn't have been there, but she dragged him along to promote her book. Maria, she must need money. Well, they all do. Everybody needs money, but the thing is, people are going to pay these prices if they have money. There's nothing we can do about that, guys. I just wish they would pick better spokespeople. <laughs> Some of them is not the, the I mean, I don't know. I don't disagree with a lot of them. I just a few that maybe they should do some research before they, you know, that would be nice. There is uh, something going on, though, on August 15th, and that's Thursday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., and that's going to be a Graceland soundstage, Elvis Presley, Memphis. Individual tickets will be $57, and um, it'll be hosted by Tom Brown. Conversations on Elvis offers an intimate, heartfelt celebration of life with friends, co-stars, musicians, singers who are sharing their cherished memories and stories. Confirmed segments include Linda Thompson, along with her brother, Sam Thompson, who will share their favorite family memories of spending time with Graceland in with Elvis, as well as each of their personal remembrances. Shirley Do will be there. Yep. And that's the thing she's doing. And these tickets right here is just $57, but it's going to be a big platform. It's not going to be so personal like the tour that they're going to get for thousands of dollars. So it's totally different, but it's from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., and that's August 15th. So there's where Shirley is going to show up, is that Thursday, August 15th conversations, and tickets are $57. So it's not like a lot of money to see Shirley do, but they're still paying her to go. Gina, without Elvis, no one would be going to Graceland and paying money. For sure. For sure. I agree. <laughs> Sue, go on and get yourself some tissues, hon. We can wait. Oh, it's okay. I'll be all right. I'll live. Patricia, another greedy person, just wants the money. Well, it's called the Elvis Circuit, you know? They got to go with the Elvis Circuit. Got to go their way, make their money. You know, back in the day, it was called playing ball. As long as you played ball with prissy pants. You can run the circuit and Grayson would invite you. But you don't play ball, don't tell the right stories, you're not going to be invited. Joy, I just need to fill a spot. I don't understand why they don't invite Billy and Joe Smith. I do. Because they don't like the past stories that Billy and Joe have said. Plus the fact... When Billy uh, worked at Graceland, when it opened, <laughs> jo uh, uh, Jack Sodden fired him 
because he had a love-hate relationship with Graceland. He knew that place like the back of his hand, yet to be a tour guide, you know, he helped them build that whole, he helped them organize and get all of it ready to open and organize the trophy room and everything. And then once it opened, a little bit long, a little bit after it opened, they fired him. So, you know, they just used him, I think, just to get that trophy room just right. So I like EPE to have a show how the money they receive is being spent. They don't have to do that, but it would be nice. But <laughs> They don't have to do that. Yes, Will, the Elvis Week 2024 schedule has been announced. I'm going to read it in just a minute. But I was just telling everybody else about the guest house prices and uh, the Shirley Duke, the Shirley Duke girl that's going to be a guest. Kathleen, her appearance at Elvis Week and book sales just went down the toilet. <laughs> yes, Will, I know who's confirmed. It's uh, Linda Thompson, Jerry Schilling, Sam Thompson, Larry Strickland, Shirley Dew, Jerome Stump Monroe, Larry Geller, Jane Christman, and Terry Blackwood. You guys didn't know. I'm only going to talk about a few of these people, though. Barbara, she wrote lies, still tells lies, and was friends with Martha, Joe's wife, while being the girlfriend. Joe wasn't aware in those days what and how Shirley was doing, my opinion. Probably so. Ginger, Shirley D is a jerk. Uh, Sue, I can only hope that Elvis fans will not give her the time of day, but alas, I know that won't happen. Yeah, well, we gotta we gotta just see what happens. I mean, I can't tell you the future, but you know, Elvis fans, there are gonna be some. There's always some, guys. Remember when I told you last week? Uh, the Stanleys have a bad track record, but yet they even have fans. Go look at Hound Dog Racing and tell me he ain't got no fans. There's an Elvis camp for different sides everywhere, guys. Will, I hate that guy, Tom Brown. He's a chump. Always goes along with everything EPE does and never disagrees. So, hi. I'm sorry. I was very close friends with a rock star who died several years ago. You don't go blabbing if you cherish your memories together. Sorry, not sorry. I have to agree with you. I mean, if you're really, truly close friends with someone, you really don't want to tell them close, intimate stories to people. You give them out too much and it, it becomes un personal to you um if these are precious memories and that's my opinion that, that might not be y'all's opinion but like i'll give you for instance here i'll give you for instance here okay all right so like say you're best friends with 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 elvis well you know and margaret she has never wrote a book about elvis nor has she really talked about him too much she'll always say that it's private and move on and go to another story. She's the only one, I think, out of all the track record who hasn't said anything too much about Elvis. I mean, I was doing research and I was thinking, well, there has to be more than her. But I really personally think now Ann Margaret's probably the only one who's never wrote a book, never went on the Elvis circuit, never played ball with Graceland and EPE. And has never really talked intimately about Elvis. Not about their intimate life together, that's for sure. I think she's the only one. And Margaret. Cat Girl Blue. If ever there's a chance for Billy and Joe, it would be now. Because Linda is on very good terms with all of them. And they all say how much they like her. And lately, Linda is invited to Elvis Week. Well, I mean, if anybody can get her there... If anybody can get them there, excuse me, it would have to be um, maybe Linda. But the thing is, Cat Girl Blue, I don't think they want them there. If they did, they would have invited them there a long time ago, don't you think? I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, look how many years it's been. I mean, if they were going to invite Billy and Joe Smith, they would have done it already, I would think. 
I don't know. That's just my personal opinion, though. I mean, I would love for them to go. They need to. But why didn't they do it before? Sue, it's amazing. I just don't get it. Why Elvis fans would support Prissy and those horrible Stanleys. I don't know. I don't think they care about doing their research either. Catherine, looking closer at those $1,250 tours, Angie's doing the tour and Linda and Jerry are doing a Q&A afterwards. Last year, I recall, they did the tour too. Well, I have the, um, I'll read you everything soon so we can get it just right, all right? We'll get it just right. Barbara, I just got a commercial on as you read my comments. I don't know your comments. Uh, Barb. She wrote lies, still tells lies, and was friends with Martha's Joe's wife while being the girlfriend. Joe wasn't aware of those days of what and how Shirley was doing, my opinion. Well, I agreed with you, Barbara. I agreed with you. You know, I mean, if you're going to have a book say one thing and then the prissy pant camp gets to you and then your book says something else on, on key issue and a key issue or key issues then you know you got a problem so how do you pronounce your name Gedaldine 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 is that your name is that how you pronounce it I'm southern so it's hard to spread out certain names Gedaldine Thank you for what you do for us fans. We love you for that. Thank you. I hope I said your name right. Maria, Larry Geller is controversial. I didn't know. No, it's not it's not really controversial. It's just he's it's uh, how do I put this? To me he's not controversial. To me he's just was Elvis's hairstyle and and guru that gave him his some of the the spiritual books that he was that he had and read while he was searching. But um some people, some people, you know, don't you know quite want to hear what he has to say because he um makes Elvis out so much more than what he was, you know, like, like he had powers and things. I don't know. I'm not going to get into it. Some people want him there. Some people don't. I personally really don't have much of a problem with him at all. I mean, but some people do. That's all. I think we're just going to really focus on Shirley do because that's the one that's just got people talking, especially after having and knowing that she really doesn't like Elvis fans by her comments. <clears throat> Ginger, it's my opinion too, Shauna. Lady Lucilla, kudos to Anne Margaret for respecting his privacy all these years. I agree. She's the only one that I've researched that I think has protected his privacy. You know? So, spending money at Graceland seems though it's only supporting Joel and Scientology. See? My point exactly, but people are going to go and people are going to pay those prices. It doesn't matter what we think. And and that's what's crazy. And I'm glad that you guys are here in this chat because that's what I'm, that's the point of this show. No matter how much we, oh, no, no, we're not, oh, no, we're not happy. Oh, rah, 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 rah. The more, the more we do that, it's really not going to do anything. People are still going to pay those prices. It doesn't matter if we're upset about it. People are still going to pay those prices. That's just the way it rolls. Rosalind, I think Lisa turned against the Smiths because they participated in the book Elvis and the Memphis Mafia. Probably so. But Elvis and the Memphis Mafia, I didn't think was a bad book. Some people call it the, uh, the Elvis Bible. I mean, so it's not like the book Elvis What Happened, Rosalind. But I don't know. Cheryl, what in the world are they going to do when no one is left to appear? <sighs> Beats me, Cheryl. I don't know. Are they going to use holograms of these people? <laughs> Will it be like Disney with the Hall of Presidents? That's what it'll be like. It'll be all these holograms talking about Elvis. Oh, I knew Elvis. You never know. 
anything to make a buck. I don't know. Let's not give them any ideas, folks. <laughs> Let's not give them any ideas. Well, some say Linda Thompson and Jerry Schilling are controversial, so it all depends. Well, I mean, see, it depends on what Elvis camp you're on. You know, Jerry Schilling goes pretty much every year. So what's, you know, what's different? Excuse me, my eyes are watery. Now my eyes are watery, folks. Allergies are so much fun. Sue, I agree as well, and I'm thankful to Anne Margaret. So am I. Patricia, I think Anne Margaret really loved Elvis more than other women he dated. She respected his privacy. She's never said anything about him or wrote a book. Even when talk show hosts tried to interview Anne Margaret, she would always change the subject and move on and just say, you know, I can't answer that. Well, Cheryl, what in the world are they going to do when there's no one left to appear? Priscilla is going to live forever, so she will always be available. <laughs> yeah, well, what what's she having? <laughs> what does she get? What does she have to live forever? Probably no soul. Susie Q, oh, somebody probably taking hologram notes as we speak. <laughs> Let's not give him any more ideas. Mitch Dam, I think Anita would love him the most. Well, I think out of all of them, that's the one he should have married. So, oh my God, they could have hologram of Elvis welcoming you to Graceland. Oh, right there at the door. He could be singing, welcome to my world, won't you come on in, pay these ticket prices, and let's begin. <laughs> oh my goodness, soul, that's funny. <laughs> Okay, let me read to you the full package. Are you ready for this? This is this is everything. This is everything. Okay, here we go. This is right off of Graceland.com. Graceland.com is where you'll find this stuff. On Elvis Week 2024, immense yourself in all things the king with an exciting lineup of events that celebrate his life, music, and legacy. Highlights of our 2024 schedule include the Elvis Return to Vegas show, August 16th, featuring Elvis on the big screen, accompanied by a live band, Elvis Fan Choice Awards, a night offering some glitz and glamour where your Elvis favorites are revealed, Elvis Back in Memphis concert, a tribute to the music Elvis recorded in his hometown, plus Ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist Events, Contests, Conversations on Elvis, and much more. You won't want to miss our Cornerstone Event of the Week, the annual Candlelight Vigil, August 15th, as fans gather in quiet remembrance to honoring Elvis's enduring legacy. With a diverse array of events, Elvis Week offers something for every type of fan. So what are you waiting for? Join us for an unforgettable celebration of the man, the star, the icon, Elvis Presley. Boy, what a starter, guys. They really know how to reel you in. <laughs> There's more. There's more. Hold on. There is more. Elvis Week Tickets and Packages. Elvis Week events, tickets, and packages are on sale now. This year provides something for all types of Elvis fans. From live music to appeal conversations to Elvis tribute artist competitions. The culmination of the week will be on Thursday, August 15th 
as fans gather at Graceland for the annual candlelight vigil in remembrance of Elvis's life and legacy. It will be an unforgettable week for all to attend. For tickets and accessibility, call Graceland at 800-238-2000. Now here are the packages. Get the best seats to some of the hottest events. Gain access, can't buy experiences, receive limited edition merchandise, and more. Packages are limited, so buy early. It says, Elvis Week Platinum Package. $2,070. Elvis Week Gold Package. $880. So the gold package is $880 and the Elvis Week Platinum is $2,070. Okay. It says, if you want to enjoy the full ETA experience, here are the packages. Uh, that's... That's not it. Hold on. So here are the packages. The Ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist VIP Package is $755. But oh no, guys. It's already been sold out. Right now they have the Ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist Premier Package for $500. These aren't even real Elvis. This is... Elvis tribute artists. This is a really Elvis. And they have packages selling for $755, which is sold out. $535 and $380. And these guys aren't really Elvis. Seriously? Seriously? Wow. Hold on, guys. My mother's trying to call me. Hold on. Give me a second. I told her not to call, but not. she doesn't know. Give me a second. Hold on. Okay. But seriously, these guys aren't really, these guys aren't Elvis. And that's a lot, you know? Well, anyway, my boss went to go see an Elvis tribute artist, the town down from where we live, and she only paid, listen to this, she only paid $25 for her ticket to see this ETA and like $20 to see him backstage. These are cheap. So why? Because these Elvis impersonators, Elvis ETAs are going to Graceland during Elvis week. Why are the packages so high? But anyways, whatever. I have more to read to you guys. So hold on. <sighs> so here's some of the packages that you can also get that are much cheaper. This is called the Fan Celebration. It's August 13th. It's $10. And it goes to the Elvis Presley Charitable Foundation. Elvis Memphis Bus Tour, August 10th, is $80. Elvis Memphis Bus Tour, August 12th, is $80. That's not too bad if you want to do a bus tour. Elvis Back in Memphis, August 13th, is $90 or $52, depending on the date. Club Elvis, August 13th, is $30. The King Creole Brunch and Movie, August 14th, is only $70. And the Elvis Fan Choice Awards, August 14th, is $90 or $52, depending on the seating. I mean, that stuff isn't too bad if that's all you're going to do. But it keeps going. Uh, it keeps going. The Awards After Party, August 14th, is $25. Conversations on Elvis, August 15th is $57. Return to Vegas, August 16th is $95 or $65, depending on the seating. Elvis Behind the Music is August 17th, and that's $32. 
And the 50s flashback dinner drive-in and sock hop August 17th is $100. So not too bad, I guess. You can also, like every year, buy the TCB Pass. For $38, it provides an incredible value that helps you make the most of your Elvis week. With the TCB Pass, you will receive unlimited access to Elvis Week Music Pavilion, unlimited access to Elvis Presley Memphis, plus free parking in Graceland's Visitor Parking Lot every day after 5 p.m. One pass covers you for the duration of Elvis Week, August 9th through 17th. Available for purchase on site at Graceland during Elvis Week. Uh Uh-huh. Now, here are the exclusive tour experiences. And don't worry, folks. They're already sold out. So if you did have the money and spent years saving the money to see these people talk, you are out of luck. These are sold out. So I told you, these people are going to pay these high prices, so it doesn't matter how much it is. They can charge $10,000 for these people. People will pay it. Some will. We won't, but some will. But here are the exclusive tour experience packages. Linda Thompson Graceland Mansion Q&A Experience is $1,250 per person. Sold out. By the way, they're sold out. It was going to be Friday, August 9th, Saturday, August 10th, Monday, August 12th. Only 10 experiences available per date. So we're talking one, two. So we're talking 20 times $1,250. So that's what they're getting for those. And after hours, Graceland Experience with special guest Linda Thompson is going to be there. The next one is uh, the Graceland Mansion by Vice President of Graceland Archives and Exhibits, Angie Marchese. Then take part in a very special Q&A session with Linda Thompson from inside the jungle room as she answers your questions and shares her favorite stories and memories of Graceland. The experience also includes a photo and an autograph of Linda Thompson. Jerry Schilling, Elvis After Dark, Graceland Experience, $1,250 per person. The dates are Wednesday, August 14th, very limited availability, it said, August 16th. But don't worry, guys, this has already also been sold out, so no more seating for that. It's also going to be done with Angie Marchese, followed by the Q&A session with Jerry Schilling. But this time, he's going to be in the racquetball building answering your questions. But yeah, yeah, that's that. That's pretty expensive, guys. Pretty expensive. But people are going to pay it. People are going to pay it. And that's the point, right? People are going to pay it. Let me see what you guys have said so far. I've got to scroll up. Let's see. You guys were talking about Anita. (laughs) Okay. Will. Uh, Will, Shelly Fabre has done a few appearances at Elvis Week, correct? I believe so, like maybe one or two in the past, I want to say. Patty and Margaret and Anita are my favorite. Joy, Joyce Bova's book was good. I haven't read that one. I haven't read that one. Sue, oh, Will, I agree. He has he wasn't the Mary and Kind, however, since he did Mary. Said, oh, you guys still talking about Anita? Hold on, I'm trying to find where we're talking about what I read. Elvis Chick, sorry, I was kicked out of some reason for some reason, but I made a mistake. Joan, Joe's ex, 
was married to Rob Kardashian's brother. Sorry. Okay, so it wasn't Shirley Do. Thanks for telling me. Uh, let's see. Ginger, it's hard to know who to trust in the Elvis world. It really is sometimes. It's really hard to know who you can trust. you got to go by what's in your gut and the research that you did and listen to what they have to say. That's all. Let's see. So Joel sure is taking advantage of the expendable income of the original Elvis fans who are now retirees. Well, that's that's a point there, soul. Rainbow 24. Hi, Shauna. I forgot today was Friday. <gasps> did you really? How did you forget today was Friday? <laughs> Francis. Hi, Shauna. Wow, that's expensive. Don't think Elvis would like that. Also, all of those tribute artists making money off of Elvis, only one Elvis, and they are not it. I know. I have a if he said, I, I feel iffy about Elvis tribute artists. I mean, I've, I've, excuse me, my nose. Hold on. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. I am iffy about ETAs because, I mean, they're not Elvis. I've never even went to see an ETA show, so I don't know. I've never experience going to uh, an Elvis impersonator or Elvis ETA show. I don't know what it does for people, but some people seem to enjoy it. So, I don't know. I guess whatever floats your boat. So, Sun Records and Tupelo sound more up my alley, to be honest. I don't trust EPE. Well, then go. Sun Records does their tour. I think it's like $20. So they do their tour during Elvis week and Tupelo, Tupelo does things too, guys, you know, and that's good to give the love to Tupelo, Mississippi, go there. But, you know, there's some people that still go to Elvis week for the free stuff and, and, and they try to budget uh, the price so they can just visit with their, their friends and they can make memories. You know, you don't always have to do Graceland stuff. And you don't always have to buy those big packages, guys. You can always go there just to enjoy it and, and, and to breathe it all in, to soak it all in. There are free stuff to do there, too. KG, have you noticed Priscilla's Instagram lately? Her posts used to be more critical and less flattering. Comments on them. But now it's all people worshipping her. It feels fake and like a PR move. Well, I will tell you. Me and my friend looked into uh, her uh, social media lately, and we've noticed it looks more professional than it ever has before. Like she got a new PR team or something. Think about that. I think she got a new PR team. Personally, that's what I think. It looks a lot different, and things are said a lot differently. Cheryl, Sue, I agree. If I go, it will be Tupelo and visit the meditation garden. Oh, yeah. Go do the free stuff, guys. Don't let that other things get in your way. So these Graceland experiences are about as Elvis as the Disneyland ride Pirates of the Caribbean is about pirates. Yo, ho, ho. <laughs> Yo ho ho, a pirate's life for me. Sue, so, that's the same. That that's a shame, Shauna. So they will just keep doing it as they are getting away with it. That's right. That's right. Ginger, too rich for my blood. My blood too. I'll never ever get to go to Elvis Week that way. Not 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 that way. I can't. That's too too much. But people are gonna pay it. So even though we won't pay it, some people will. And they already have. All those experiences are sold out. The Linda Thompson two-day experience is sold out. And the Jerry Schilling experience at night is sold out. So ew, they're already gone and sold out. So really not much anybody can do about it. But if you want, you can write Joel at graceland.com. 
Ha. Rosalind, I would love to go to the candlelight vigil just once, but I wouldn't give two cents to see any of the people that's going to be there. Okay, Rosalind, I hear you. Cat Girl Blue. Joyce Bova is such a sweet lady. I'm friends with her on Facebook. She seems really, really nice. She does. So far. I mean, I've been her friend for about five years, but everything she posts seems really nice and spot on to me. I haven't wrote, I haven't read her book, though. I need to, but I haven't bought it yet. Will, I know Tom Brown is just doing his job. It would be nice for him to give his opinion when he interviewed Linda last year and she said Graceland should be changed back to the way it was when he became silent. The red, yeah, the red would be nice for a change every once in a while so people could see what it was really like when Elvis adios. Joy. Joyce Bova says her book that she was pregnant with Elvis's baby, but she made the decision to abort it. Elvis never knew. I know. I, I, I saw that excerpt, and I have heard a lot of my friends talk about it, so I am aware that that's what she says in her book, even though I have not read it, but I am aware that that's what's in her book. Cat Girl Blue, I wish she wouldn't have had a termination of pregnancy. I got to be careful saying that word or they'll, 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 they'll put a flag on my video. You know how YouTube and Facebook can be with those words. Catherine, the founders who pay thousands of dollars a year and they get first dibs on those tours could buy two tickets for Jerry's tour and two to Linda's. Wow. Really? Wow, indeed. I'm not a fan of the tribute artists. I happen to agree with what Marty Liker said about them. Lady Lucilla, I'd love to go to the vigil too, but everything else is too pricey and I don't like crowds anyway. Ginger, neither would I, Rosalind. KG, I noticed that too. Will, Wanda, that sounds like a plan that keeps it real. I will never meet anyone that knew Elvis, so that would be a treat to shake the hand of someone that shook the hand of Elvis. So, Ginger, he basically said it. If you want to see Elvis, watch him on video and listen to his record. Maria, I carry Elvis in my heart. I listen to his music. That is enough for me. Yeah, me too. And I keep his legacy the best I can by putting these shows on for you guys. That's what I do. Cat Girl Blue, did I miss your comment? Hold on. Cat Girl Blue. Yes, lately, PP's Instagram has comments that are all like love letters to her and no critical comments like before. See? See? I told you to. Elvis Chick, I know Bull U was in Memphis March 28th. Yeah, to Christian, the Memphis Rock and Roll Soul Museum to the Old Hark Rock Cafe building. Yeah, that was crazy. I mean, they gave her an award a few years ago. Uh, what has she ever had anything to do with the Memphis music scene? And when she went yesterday to do the conference, I heard her call Memphis home. She called Memphis home three times. What the heck, Prissy Pants? She couldn't stand Memphis. The very first chance that she got to leave Memphis, she moved to California when she left Elvis, and she never looked back. So when when did she ever call Memphis home? Uh, I know Lisa did. Memphis was in Lisa's DNA. In fact, Jerry Schilling called Lisa Memphis. But... When did Priscilla ever have anything to do with the Mem with the Memphis music scene? Is it because she dated and then married Elvis? Is that the only reason? They should have never gave her that award. 
That's my personal opinion, and I'm sticking to it. She had nothing to do with the Memphis music scene. If anything, they should have gave Lisa Marie that award. Not Chrissy Pants. But that's just my own opinion. KG, KG, I've never been to Graceland. I was curious for people who have been. Do you see younger people visiting Graceland too? I ask because Chrissy has unfortunately has damaged his reputation in the younger generation. I have seen younger people visit Graceland. I have. It's uh, many, many times. So I don't know what it will be like in the future. But I have seen a younger generation visit, though. And and lately, since the Baz Luhrmann movie came out, by the way. So I have I have seen that. So it it it's it's happening because of that movie. So Wanda, that sounds like a plan that keeps it real. I have never met. Sorry, I read you already. Well, <laughs> it just went back up again. KG, exactly. I think Priscilla's gotten rid of all the negative comments now. She also has a new PR team. I think so. I think I think she does. Maria, I can carry Elvis in my heart, listen to his music, and that's enough for me. Yep, me too. So the Meditation Garden is still free to visit early in the morning per Shelby County Private Cemetery regulations. Yes, it is. It is. And and the, the candlelight vigil is free. It's always free. So that's important, too. Let's see. Wanda, I have not either. It just sounds so respectful. I do have Becky Yancey's autograph, and I touch it. Sue, so, absolutely, Lisa was his daughter, and she was an actual artist. Well, then they should have gave her that award, not Prissy Pants. John, Shauna, Prissy Pants wants to be in the spotlight because Lisa passed on, and Prissy is trying her darndest to take stuff over. Yeah, well, she only has so many uh, days, years left on this earth, you know. She's getting up there in age. We'll see. KG, it's the younger generation online, I guess, who seems to worship Priscilla. I've noticed that. I've noticed that. And that's sad. Lady Lucilla, I've seen one ETA show. The guy was pretty good. We had fun, but that was enough to satisfy my curiosity, and I'm not really interested in seeing another ETA. Okay. Sue, so, KG, it seems that way. Will, they always bring Priscilla out for stuff. A few years ago, they brought her out to auction off Elvis Jet. Yep, they did. Mitch Dan, there is a lot of the younger generation on YouTube who do reaction videos to Elvis, and I can tell you, they are amazed by him and in awe of him. Love it. Yeah, reaction videos are really nice to watch from time to time because you want to see what other people's reaction would be to seeing him for the first time in their eyes. Cheryl, do y'all see they signed Elvis Act into law March 21st? Uh, I did read an article about that, actually. I did read an article about that, actually, not very long ago. It's in Tennessee, right? It's the first state to protect uh, artists. Because I guess of what like the colonel did to Elvis. Oh no, and the art and they were trying to get rid of the artificial intelligence and copyright. So let me read you what they say. March twenty first, two thousand twenty four, the ensuing likeness, voice and image security act, Elvis Act, was signed into law by Tennessee Governor Bill Lee. It states the purpose of the Elvis Act is to protect musicians from unauthorized usage of artificial intelligence because it's getting so bad, guys, out there. You see all these fake pictures, fake voices, fake hologram things of Elvis, and he's not here. They don't want 
his legacy ruined. So other actors and musicians and stars wouldn't want their legacy ruined. So the Elvis Act is into place to protect them from AI abuse. Because there's been lots of abuse of AI going on lately. And it's getting worse with all these photoshops and green screens and ticky talks and things like that. <laughs> Catherine, do you think Linda will be back in the future years and going forward? Of course. They started this last year. They're going to bring Linda back. Elvis Chick, yes. It's about the public license. Yeah, it is. So, can you imagine spending your final years jockeying for a burial plot? Exactly. So, why is she doing it? <laughs> Why is Prissy Pants jockeying for a burial plot? She's too old for that. Buy your own burial plot somewhere. Cat Girl Blue. Cheryl Spencer has nothing to do with Elvis, though. Not really, but it's into place, Cat Girl Blue, to protect artists and musicians like Elvis because AI is getting to be a nuisance and a problem. Uh, let's see. Sue, I am all for the act. KJ, KG, sorry. I wonder what the Netflix documentary about Elvis is going to be about. Maybe it's gospel music. I really like Darlene Love, but Priscilla being involved, involved is meh. Well, tell you that. For Priscilla to bring out a gospel documentary about Elvis is laughable. Isn't she a follower of the religion of science or was a follower of the religion of science how does that have, why would she want to produce oh money that's it money you know she got a profit off the christians you know we got to get those christians listening to elvis's gospel and paying to watch this documentary oh my goodness i don't know guys it seems like one thing after another with her about um, money. Like, what's she going to do now? What's she going to do next? Well, the question we should be asking is, when will the burial stop? Is it a museum or a cemetery? Well, so far, it's both. The first time we buried somebody on that plot of land made it a cemetery. You know, Natalia, he was disturbing, but he found out quite a lot of things about Prissy and how she treated Lisa. The episode where she sort of cooking and beat at Lisa for going to a bar. Ooh, show me what you guys are talking to, talking about. That sounds intriguing. It must be uh, that book by Mike Edwards you guys are talking about or something like that. Sue, who can think like Prissy? She has no empathy and is a narcissist. Well, that's her personal problem. <laughs> Sounds like her personal problems to me, girl. KG, Scientologist money. Yep. So, good question at will. I thought it was only for family members. I think we all thought it was for intimate family members. Not ex-wives. <laughs> Rainbow, the gospel venture. It's been done beautifully already. A documentary called He Touched Me. I know. I've watched that. It's, over, it's about an hour long. It, it's over an hour long, actually. It's good. It's good. It's good. I did a watch party on Facebook a few years ago with that. Yeah. That one's a good one. Marianne, I'll never go to Graceland after... P.P. is buried there. Me neither. She's going to taint the whole area. I don't want to be there if she's there. Sue. Yes, I watched it too. Yeah, he touched me. It's a real good one. He really is. Well, anyways, folks, that's pretty much all I've got for you about prices, the gas, um, the guest house prices. I'll tell you what, though. If you go to Elvis Week and you don't want to pay that much to stay at the guest house, 
go to the Peabody, you know, the Peabody with the ducks, go there. It's cheaper and you might actually have more fun. Plus there's the Holiday Inn Express, but I bet you they'd be selling out. There's also that town before you even get there that you can go to to stay at the town before Memphis in the Holiday Inn and the Claritin Inn there. You know, Cat Girl Blue. I believe that Riley will use the legal loophole to the extent of her authority. That's what I'm thinking too, Cat, Cat Girl Blue. If that hadn't have been put in there, I wouldn't have thought. But there is a loophole. There is a loophole. Thank goodness it is there. Ness, Billy Smith basically grew up at Graceland. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Lynn, I put my faith in Memphis. Pretty sure they have to get a license to bury her there. I know. I'm putting in my faith in there, too, because that's another thing. That's another thing. So, I think that the city of Memphis as well has the last say. So, crossing those fingers, guys. Mitchell. Need a boycott Elvis's home if she be there. Catherine, it was nice they had a memorial to Lisa last year. It was. Maybe they could do it January 12th of every year where she, when she passed. That would be nice. Or every other year. Rainbow, I agree. I have faith that she won't be buried there. Mm, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> well... They will probably allow Priscilla to be buried there. Her son, Riley, the grandkids, the great grandkids. Oh, I hope not. Ness, have you heard about the documentary Prissy is doing about Elvis? Yes, I have. We were just talking about that. Anything to make money, Ness. Anything to make money. Mary, what's the loophole? The loophole in the paperwork to be buried there is to the extent of Riley's ability. There's only so much Riley can do. <laughs> KG, it's telling she has to be buried next to Elvis, not her daughter or grandson. Well, Rhonda said they only allowed Vernon for six burials. If so, then with Lisa, that is six. So they have to go through the city of Memphis to see if they can get a seventh. Mm -hmm. Pamela, I read the judge already approved for her to be buried there. Yep, unless something happens. Uh, yeah. But where are they going to bury it? Just because the judge says so doesn't mean the city of Memphis says so yet. So I'm still holding out for that. I'm still holding out for that. But Riley, unfortunately, seems like a pushover for Priscilla KG. It seems that way, but I don't know. I do not know. She could be just keeping her mouth shut because she could be getting blackmailed for all we know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Molly. Hey, Shauna. Hey, Molly. Natalia, to the extent that was smart on Riley's lawyers. Agree. Agree. Well, Molly, you missed a lot. I'm about to go, uh, but I wanted you to know you can watch it when I post it. When I get done, you can watch this whole thing, and you can get where we are. We were just talking about the prices of everything, and then we started talking about Prissy and the uh, press conference he had yesterday. Now, I don't have a problem with with the uh, Lansky um, thing that she did, I don't, I mean, the thing is, only thing I have a problem with is why would they give her an award two years ago for the Memphis music scene when she had never contributed to the Memphis music scene? So I don't get it, but they used her to open it up this, Hardens the you know this 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 landscape building, so they did that. 
but I still can't wrap my mind around how they gave her an award two years ago for the Memphis music scene. I still haven't figured that out. Molly, she looked ridiculous yesterday. Like, why was she even there? And yeah, the award. She's a jock. I don't know. I, I seriously, I, I don't know. That's just crazy enough, you know. I have no idea. And I'm still trying to catch my nose. It's running like crazy. Ugh. Cat girl boo. I think the award was arranged by the PR people. Yeah, to make her more relevant. Well, Molly, she looked ridiculous yesterday. She's a joke. Paycheck. <laughs> Darnese. Does she have a star on Bill Street? There is no stars on Bill Street. But no, she doesn't. She doesn't. Does she even have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? I don't know. Could you guys tell me? Cause I don't know. Does she? Does she? I don't know. Molly, award for the longest gold digger in the century. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me, guys. Okay. You remember how I said that it's Easter, right? Okay? It's Easter weekend. Now, a lot of you might know that I have a pet rabbit. Did you guys know? If you guys didn't know, I have a pet rabbit, okay? It's Easter weekend. I've had him for a year now. He's pretty trained. He lives in our house. Uh, my son wanted to show you our pet rabbit. So will you guys give me a minute to show you our pet rabbit? Because <laughs> my son's been dying to show you guys, and I have been holding on to not showing you for about a year, but it's time to show you. Rainbow, what's his name? His name is Cloudy Day. His name is Cloudy Day. Yeah, when you see him, you know why we named him Cloudy, Cloudy Day. Hey, wait! Bring the rabbit! <laughs> oh no, can he hear me? Yo, wait! Bring the bunny! Hold on. He promised me he'd bring that bunny. Hold on a minute. Are you going to bring the bunny? Hello? 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 He must have fell asleep or something. I don't know. I told him to get in here. Hello? Well, maybe my son fell asleep. You know, that's a possibility. I guess I'm going to miss showing you my rabbit. That's so sad. Or, I mean, I could just go real fast and come right back with the rabbit, if you guys don't mind. I hate getting up once I sit down. I really hate it, but... Hello? You going to bring the rabbit? I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. Live. Live chat is so much fun. Hello, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. <sighs> Here is my baby. Ooh, hey, buddy. Hey, baby. Okay, come here. Oh, oh, you good? You good? You good? I know. Come here. You gotta show the people how sweet you are. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, come here. Oh, baby. Oh, he's shedding right now. <laughs> Just because it's Easter. There he is. There he is. I know. I know. 
So this is cloudy. <laughs> yeah. You want to say hi to everybody. You know, camera shot, but boy, he sure likes to scratch me when he's not in, in a happy mood. <laughs> Thank you. That's why we call him Cloudy Day, because he's gray and white. So he looks like a cloudy day. But he's a sweet boy. He's our baby. We've had him a year. I always talk about him, but I've never showed him to you guys. So figured he was big enough where we can show him to you. But he's got he's got three play pins. He's got two cages. He's got half of the house to roam through. Um, he's potty trained. Oh yes, you can potty train a rabbit. He uses the litter box. So, thanks, guys. But I wanted to show something about me to you guys. You guys always hear me talk about Elvis. But how much do you really know about your host, me? So I thought I'd throw it out there. This is Cloudy. And he's the most spoiltest rabbit. He really is. But I wanted to show him to you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. He he's he's nah, he's not too big. Uh, he's about five. He's about five pounds. He's about five pounds. Sue, I've helped foster wild bunnies, and I know they can be potty trained, even the wild ones. Yeah, litter litter box. You just put their hay in there. They eat where they poop. It's so weird. <laughs> they do. They eat where they poop. But they're awesome. I'm not telling you guys to get a rabbit for Easter. Don't do it. They're a commitment. They take a lot of work. They're very dirty. You've got to have the commitment to take care of them and love them and give them the love they need because they're so small. And, you know, they're wild when you get them. You just got to train them. But this guy, we've had him for a year now. So he pretty he pretty much knows what's what's up. I'm going to, you see, I'm going to put him down in my lap a little bit. He'll probably feel better. <laughs> yeah, Sue, they are a lot of work. They are. Oh, I just wanted to share them with you guys. You know, I said before, I, I, I talk about Elvis a lot. Didn't know how much you guys know about me, but I love rabbits. Uh, that's I always loved rabbits. Uh, this is my second rabbit. I had another one a, f a long time ago. He was white. I had him for years until he died. And this is this is my other. But he's my baby. <laughs> Actually, he was my son's rabbit. Okay, and then I ended up taking care of it. But that's what mamas do, right? We ended up with them. Rainbow, isn't your birthday coming up? Yeah, girl. Um, it's coming up on the twenty fourth. My birthday is April twenty fourth. So yeah, it, it'll be next month. Yep. Yep. Lori, thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Molly, I used to have two. Oh. Cat Girl Blue, did your husband have a beard when you met him? Will he ever shave? <laughs> Well, um, let me tell you something. When I met my husband, he was completely clean shaven, except he had a mustache. That was it. Um, he didn't start growing the beard until way years later. Um, I haven't seen my husband's chin in probably 12 years. And he said he's never going to shave Cat Girl Blue. He says when he retires, he wants to look like Moses. He's never going to shave. Never going to shave. Pamela, the bunny hides the eggs so the chickens don't know he gets around. <laughs> oh, well. Sue, I don't blame you, hon. They are hard work, but worth it if you can manage it. And we all wind up taking care of our children's pets. We do. And that's why this one's my baby. I had to, I have babied him from being sick 
to him being too small when we got him. You know, I've hand fed him. He's just a spoiled little boy. <laughs> Patricia, my birthday is also in April. Oh, really? Aw. Rainbow24, today's my mom's birthday. Well, happy birthday to your mom. I believe today was also uh, Joe, Joe Smith, Billy, Billy, Billy Smith's wife, Joe. Today's also Joe's birthday. So your mom shares your birthday with, uh, with Billy's wife, Joe. Wanda, I hope your mom had a happy birthday, Rainbow. I love how y'all are so sweet. And, and we all love one another as an Elvis family and how we could talk tonight as an Elvis family, you know, about these prices and about what's going on. That's why I love these shows. We can always talk about what's going on. Maria, we're having a complete solar eclipse on my birthday, April 8th. Oh, that's your birthday? Speaking of the solar eclipse, guys. Be careful, April 8th, okay? There's going to be a lot of, I don't know. People are talking about it. People are talking about it, that eclipse that's happening April 8th. Be careful. But anyways, guys, I'm going to let you go for the night. You could have went to any Elvis channel, but you didn't. You came to mine. And because of that, I thank you and love you all for it. I really, really do. You know, doing these shows for you have just been a blessing. And it's been wonderful. You know, so thank you guys for tuning in and joining in and being in this discussion with everybody. It's been it's been great. Um, anyways, I'm going to let you guys uh, go. Also, know that we're going to go over another Elvis movie on Wednesday. We're going to go over Flaming Star. So if you like the movie Flaming Star and you want to win that movie, you need to watch my show on Wednesday, okay? All right, you guys. Have a great weekend. Have a blessed Easter. Love your families. Pray. And remember, he has risen. He has risen. That's why we have Easter. But anyways, guys, TCBTLC, God bless y'all. And you know what? You know what? We'll see you on the other side. Bye, everybody. Love y'all. I'll talk to y'all on Wednesday.